Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to share another exciting graduate scholarship opportunity in the US and like the one I shared earlier, this one also comes in the form of a graduate assistantship. This opportunity is at Urban University and it's open to both masters and PhD applicants. It was also posted by a professor who is looking for a graduate student to join in a research project. So if you're interested in something like this, stick around and watch till the end for all the details. As I said earlier, this scholarship is in the form of a graduate assistantship and we have the details here. The application deadline is the 1st July 2025. Your start date is between 1st January 2026 and 7th January 2026. If you're able to get this, you're going to work 40 hours per week and you need only your bachelor's degree to be able to apply. The salary for this position is $23,500 to $26,500 per year. You don't need to have any type of experience. You can just make the application if you are in the field. Then when you come down here, it says the stipend for a PhD student is $26,500 per year plus benefits. So you're going to get extra benefits apart from the one you're going to get. And the stipend for a master's student is $23,500 per year plus benefits. The supervisor for this program is Molly Simones. And here is the job summary. It says the Simones lab at Urban University is hiring a graduate student or students to perform research associated with seasonal pathogen dynamics and bat health throughout various field sites and slash or highway culverts throughout Alabama. The graduate students will build their own projects within border lab research to understand one, year-round shifts in bat infections and co-infections, two, seasonal fluctuations in bat immunity under many stresses, examples infections, contaminates exposure, land use, and three, general ecological and conservation research regarding bat health in southeastern U.S. Research projects would include field, laboratory, and quantitative work. Interested applicants are encouraged to apply. A PhD student is preferred, but highly qualified MS students would also be seriously considered. For more information regarding wildlife sciences PhD and MS programs at the College of Forestry, Wildlife and Environment at Urban University, please visit their website. So this is the website to the university. You can go there and get more information about the lab and the program as a whole. When you come down here, we have responsibilities. That is the responsibility of the graduate student who is going to get this position. It says that the graduate student will be expected to carry out the following responsibilities. Conduct literature reviews, organize and manage data sets, collaboratively generate and analyze data, which will include the following. Collect field data and wildlife samples. Collect laboratory data via molecular assays and microscopy. Statistically analyze and interpret quantitative data using R. Collaborate with professionals from other institutions and interdisciplinary backgrounds. Supervising undergraduates necessary. Write and publish findings in peer-reviewed scientific journals. Present findings at local, state, regional, national, and slash or international conferences. Meet program requirements and deadlines. Contribute to fostering a supportive, inclusive, and welcoming atmosphere within the lab, classroom, and college as a whole. So these are your responsibilities for those who are going to get these positions. And then when you come down here, we have the minimum qualifications. The ideal candidates will have the following. Bachelor's degree in a biology or wildlife-related field. Motivation and professionalism. Ability to work well with others. Ability to work independently ability to develop research questions, meet admission standard for AU graduate school. So this link takes you to the requirements for this university so you can check it and make sure you meet them. AU College of Forestry, Wildlife and Environment, you can also check this for the program's requirement. Then you should have a valid driver's license or ability to obtain one. So if you don't have one, you should have the ability to obtain one. Then they have desired qualifications. Preference may be given to candidates with any of the following an MS degree in biology or wildlife related field only if applying for a PhD, wildlife and slash or bat handling experience, biological sampling experience, bat survey experience, bat identification experience, laboratory technical skills, quantitative skills, 
previous field technical and slash or research experience. Although they mentioned you do not need any experience to apply, if you have any of this, it gives you an upper hand during the application. To apply, please email the following materials as a single PDF document to Dr. Molly Simones at this email address with a subject line AU Potential Graduate Student. This is the subject you are going to use when sending the email. You are going to send a cover letter two pages max outlining the Wildlife Sciences Program of Interest, PhD or MS, research interest, how your previous experiences have prepared you for graduate school or research, and professional goals. You are going to submit your resume or CV, contact information for two to three professional references. Please note that they said it should all be in a single PDF document. Again, it's repeated here. Applications will be accepted through July 31st, 2025, but applicants are encouraged to apply sooner than later as materials will be reviewed on a rolling basis. This means that immediately you send them, they are going to start the assessment, so you should start making your application now. There is no application fee. You are not applying through any university portal. You are just sending an email to this email address and then you are done with the application. Good luck to all those who are going to apply. And if you found this helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss more opportunities like this. See you in the next video. Bye.